All right, go ahead, bro. So uh, today we'll be talking about the partner power unit. Uh, this power unit will demonstrate how to use our hydraulic powered concrete cutting chainsaw. Uh, components of this, we have the power unit here, uh, chainsaw, uh, hydraulic powered water pump, and our uh, hydraulic line. Our supply line will supply us water and our other hose to supply water, pressurized water to our chainsaw. Well, the first things we want to do is actually put the pump onto the power unit. <clears throat> the, the pump is made up, or the pressurization pump is made up of two sides. This is a hydraulic impeller. That needs to be hooked up to the pressure side of our pump discharge. Our pressure side is going to take the large diameter hose. Our return needs to be hooked up. Our return is going to be the lower di diameter hose. So the first thing we do is, is hook up that pressure pump to the hydraulic unit. Yes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> uh, next thing we need to do is we need to hook up our lines from our pump. Top of unit, uh, eastbound 580 and so we hooked up our pressure and our return to our pump. And that's our out, outgoing side, right? To our tool? This is to our tool. Okay. Pressure and return. Okay. Man's gonna be your pressure. Chase, if you can hook that up to our saw. So go, go just bring the saw over there and we'll go. Just located there. an accident just before the uh, so as you see our outside of our uh, our hydraulic pump, it's going to hook into our hose, over to our tool, simple fittings, male, female couplings. They just push straight in and that goes to our tool. Next step. Next step is we need to supply our a pump here with some water for lubrication and cooling measures. So this will be our supply side. We'll simply take our the male end of our hose, insert it into our female. What this pump is doing is that this water pump is doing is it allowing us to increase the pressure of our water supply to 80 PSI, which is our minimum operating pressure. So it's taking a, a water source of some kind that you may not know the pressure of, and it's just giving you 80 pounds, which is your, at, ensuring that you get 80 pounds adequate pressure to the tool. Exactly okay. right. Okay. And so how, and how, and how is that ran? So what's, what's happening is this is going to be the supply side of okay. our pump. Water flows in to our pump. Okay. It spins around inside of our pump and then discharges out of the side of the hose. Okay. And this little pump is ran by our partner hydraulic unit itself. Firm it. Okay. And Next, we'll hook up. To our tool. And we're good to go. So we got our, just to recap, we have the partner unit itself, the hydraulic unit, which takes hydraulic fluid, spits it out of the unit itself into our pump, runs it through our hydraulic pump, and spins the water source and gives us water supply to the tool at 80 PSI. All right. Next we'll go over, there's different settings. Each tool will have a different setting. This concrete cutting chainsaw has this setting D, D on it. which is 30 liters per minute. Okay. At, it's like 138 bar. And we have other tools we could run off this, like the breaker and all that stuff, and they're labeled different letters as well. Right? Be, yeah, we label the Just make them correspond to uh, the tool you're using. Okay. Start, starting procedure is the three position switch. There's a stop, ignition, and start. When we put in the ignition and then to the start position, okay. the saw's already been started, so it's warm. So we'll just start it with the choke off. All right, go ahead. Water. We have water coming in. 
Chainsaw. 